Hello, I'm going to show you how the new Action Illustrated Instant Designer color feature works. I have a template open from our newest collection of clip art, Real Sports Volume 1, which was released in November of 2013. This collection features some full gradient templates specifically designed for sublimation and direct garment printing. I'm going to open up my template editor. So, as you know, this is where I edit my text, replace my images, and edit my color. However, you'll notice that the color feature looks different than before. It has two different palettes. The one on the left shows me how many colors I have in my design. I am currently selected on the orange color. On the right, it breaks down my orange color and shows me all the different percentages of this orange that are in my design. If I change the orange on the left palette to a new color, let me make it red, it will change all of the percentages of this color accordingly. If I change a color on the right palette, it will just change that specific percentage. See how it did that? So my red still exists, but it's just these light percentages, and you can see now it's going from like blue to red. That looks pretty cool, but I probably would not use my right palette for this kind of design. I'm going to go ahead and undo that. For a design like this one, I would probably just be changing the colors on the left palette. Let's bring up another template to show you how and when. That I would want to use the right palette. This design here is made up of four different colors, all at 100% of that color. If I were screen printing this design, I would want to change the Pantone gray colors into percentages of my Pantone black, thus condensing this design down to a one color design. I cannot do that in my left palette. It will only replace 100% of one color with 100% of another color, even if I try to set it to a percentage. So let me go ahead and undo that. So what I want to do is take this Pantone 445 and make it into a percentage of Pantone Black. So I have my Pantone 445 selected in the left, but then I change the color swatch in the right palette. So now I'm going to make this a percentage of the Pantone black. Hit OK. So now my Pantone 445 has been eliminated from this design the color swatch is no longer here. And when I'm selected on my black swatch, it shows me that my design contains two different percentages of the black color. So now I'm going to take my two grays, click on them to select them in the left palette, and then change them in the right palette to percentages of the Pantone black, selecting them in the left, changing them in the right. Pantone black, but just a percentage, to condense this down. These two swatches, white and 0% black, won't even show up in my screen separations as you screen printers out there know, so don't need to worry about those. But now you can see I have one color in my design, the black, and there are four different percentages of that color in my design. 
you can see that if I change the Pantone black color in the left palette, it will change all the percentages accordingly. And if I change a swatch in the right palette, it will just change that one. So that is the new color feature in the Instant Designer. It just gives you more control over the colors within your design.